Hello everyone, this is Neha Wagle reporting from the Renewable Energy India Expo 2024. I am thrilled to be joined by Mr. Avijit Sinha, the National Program Director of Ease of Doing Business and National Highways for Electric Vehicles. Mr. Sinha has been leading the charge in transforming India's highway into e-highways with the latest tech trials in Tamil Nadu marking a significant milestone. Today we will be discussing the impact of these trials and what they mean for the future of electric mobility in India. Hello sir, welcome back to Mojo for Industry. Sir, uh, so the third trial, uh, trial ho raha tha, Tamil Nadu, mein. could you shed some light over there? What was the objective of it? This is the trial truck ke upar fe, focused on yes. the The last trials jo दिल्ली से जयपुर और दिल्ली से आगरा के बीच में हुए वो बस इंटरसिटी कार्स और एसयूवीज के ऊपर फोकस थे ऐसा नहीं है कि इस ट्रायल के अलावा ट्रक्स के ट्रायल नहीं हुए होंगे डेफिनेटली प्राइवेट और टू द लिमिटेड एक्सेस बहुत सारे ट्रायल अरेंज किए गए डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंपनीज के लिए जो डीजल की मोबिलिटी से एक इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी के ऊपर जाना चाहती थी और मैं इस बात को थोड़ा नहीं समझ पा रहा था कि उसका इंफॉर्मेशन आप पब्लिक डोमेन में देने से क्यों कतरा रहे हो दो रीजन हो सकते हैं एक आपका ट्रायल सक्सेसफुल नहीं रहा कमर्शियली वायबल नहीं रहा या फिर दूसरा आप एक सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्काउंट जो इंडस्ट्री अभी डीजल के ऊपर पे कर रही है उससे थोड़ा कम पैसा इलेक्ट्रिक में उनको देना पड़ता है थोड़ा उनको एक लेवरेज मिलता लेवर, है क्योंकि पर किलोमीटर रनिंग कम होती है ये दो चीजें आप छुपा रहे हो जिसकी वजह से आपका ट्रायल प्राइवेट स्क्रीनिंग की तरह बंद कमरों में हो रहा है देश जिस ट्रांजेक्शन से गुजर रहा है उसमें इस वक्त हमें जरूरत है कि हर वो कंपनी जो डीजल की ट्रकिंग डीजल ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड लॉजिस्टिक इस्तेमाल कर रही है उसको खुलकर पब्लिक डोमेन में वो डेटा हो गवर्नमेंट मशीनरीज को पॉलिसीज के लिए प्रडिक्टिव एनालिसिस के लिए मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एसेट्स के लिए सब्सिडीज के लिए वो इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल कराई जाए जिसका इस्तेमाल अब शायद सब लोग कर पाएंगे क्योंकि ये ट्रायल्स किसी एक कंपनी या किसी एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के लिए नहीं है दिस ऑल आर फॉर द पब्लिक कंजम्पशन यस सो दीज आर द पायलट प्रोजेक्ट्स इसके स्केलिंग आपके लिए नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स क्या रह गए सर सी इन इन ट्रायल्स का मतलब नेशनल हाईवे ईवी के तीसरे टेक ट्रायल रन का मतलब सिर्फ और सिर्फ इतना है कि आप जिस भी स्ट्रेच के ऊपर ट्रायल कर रहे हैं उसके ऊपर पहले भी हमने जो ट्रायल किए हैं उनके ऊपर बसेस इंटरसिटी कार्स फिर एस और सब पब्लिक यूज के लिए नॉट फॉर कैप्टिव यूज नॉट योर पर्सनल कार माई पर्सनल कार यू डोंट हैव अ व्हीकल यू कैन बुक अ व्हीकल एंड यू कैन यूज इट वो हमने सक्सेसफुली डिप्लॉय किया है नॉट पर्सनली इन एच बी बट थ्रू पार्टनर्स दे हैव बिन डूइंग इट नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रायल ऑफ ट्रक्स एंड टू सर्टन एक्सटेंट मिक्सड विथ बस इज ऑल्सो वी विल बी एबल टू डिप्लॉय इन सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ व्हीकल on these stretches and we will come out with 3 4 very major takeaways like one bus or one truck ki break even period kitni agar aap usko kharidte ho to 10 trucks agar koi company lena chahti hai to uska total cost of ownership kya aata hai including all infrastructure and everything and one trucks which you are one truck which you are employing into your into your company which is a diesel hmm. अगर उसकी जगह आप इलेक्ट्रिक लेते हो तो आपके पास पैसा कितना बचता है सो इलेक्ट्रिक वर्सेस डीजल वर्सेस एलएनजी ये कंपेरेटिव एनालिसिस आप देख पाओगे yes. ये ये बड़ी बात है जो इस ट्रायल से बाहर निकल कर आएगी um so we've been hearing that there's lots of money being invested for the trucks and the infrastructure but then uh, we don't know how is this money कह कहाँ से आ रहा है कैसे डिप्लॉय होगा किसको अलॉट होगा सर सो उसके बारे में कुछ आप बता सकते हैं तो प्लीज देखिए ट्रकिंग का जो सेक्टर है जिसमें डेफिनेटली इट इन द मूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी आल्सो एज अ व्हीकल आल्सो इट्स एन कैपिटल इंटेंसिव एंड इन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर साइड द पावर बैकअप एंड अप स्ट्रीम इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन देन चार्जर हाई स्पीड डी हाई पावर चार्जर दिज ऑल आर कैपिटल इंटेंसिव Yes. so if we are not creating an instrument which upholds this transition green transition from the banking side from the monetarium side or blended financing side and giving an long term loan long term 
credit outlays, outlays yeah. and also possibilities to give them a certain monitoring in the beginning because they do not become profitable so, huh. just when they come. And then when it is a stitched together with the support that government of India wish to extend to these deployments. Okay. These all are the necessity to come, together, huh? to come together for bank. So for us, it was a challenge that we have an instrument for financing a right. highway, a tunnel, apartment, manufacturing unit, but we did not have an instrument for financing a green project, green, uh, yeah. a green deployment. And these instruments are used by bank to save time and energy. Without instrument, they will be wondering that whether they should pass it, they should not pass it. If they have an instrument, they can quickly refer. They can do a run a checklist, they can do an assessment of carbon credit, assessment of what can be done, what cannot be done, how safe it is. So having an instrument has taken good two years for us. But after two years, the result which has came out is giving an equivalent private capital to PME drive of 500 crore rupees, which is very well addressing the viability gap of truck deployment is something which is a significant step that ease of doing business has today delivered after two years of making. Um, so, how do you think uh, our platform a better platform ho sakta hai to give out such news, to so carry out such you, news? You will have to face the elephant, you will have to look into the most common things which were overlooked. And truck contributes majority of emission right. and bus contributes second most. Then we come to two-wheeler, three-wheeler and four-wheeler etc. But the strategy from last 13-15 years which has gone, it has not included trucks. So, Bharat mein, India mein abhi policy ka democratization has started. Yes. I am glad that principal scientific advisor to Prime Minister has given this recommendation to include truck subsidies in the PM e-drive, which is in continuation of FAME 1, FAME 2 and FAME 3. And we also managed to bring a similar amount of credit outlay capital, private capital, for matching that grant. So 500 crore rupees coming from PM e-drive for electric trucks and 500 coming from private capital. These two together giving a significant amount of volume for anybody and everybody to deploy electric trucks for their businesses yes. and once you have deployed then you can claim subsidies from the PME drive. So there is a change in the way we used to make policies and a platform like you can speak about it, bring more intelligence, more common sense and more I will say a uh, referral structure to the conversation and the narratives which we sometimes miss out. Miss out. Yes, sir. Oil lobby has been very very strong and oil lobby has almost captivated the auto lobby for not electric not letting electric mobility grow for a long period of time. Right. We did not have a subsidy for infrastructure in the beginning years. We did not have subsidy or support for fleet operators who are giving you a car without buying it. Infrastructure, fleet operator, uh, no, parking, registration, these all are the aspects. Battery manufacturing, vehicle manufacturing, R&D, these all were the aspects which were not sincerely looked in the beginning. Trucks was completely left behind, behind. Buses, we could not manage to impress that the private operators of bus can even think of coming into electric yes, mobility yes, is because of the complex structure of tendering and other things. Yes, Those companies who has grown with NHEV now have the only companies who are running maximum and largest fleet of four-wheeler, intercity, cars and SUVs and buses and they have not got any subsidy as of now. So for us, it is important to look into, introspect into the policies and create a new environment where you conduct trial and you bring a sensible output, an informative decision based on data, based on the you know economics which is coming, the policy which is coming from an evidence-based making. That is, that is what I think Mozo for industry can do. Very uh, informative conversations you steer around industry and they will be able to take these conversations forward to other stakeholders for a consultative, participative policy making. Thank you so much sir. Thank you for all your inputs.
and viewers that was mr sinha sharing his valuable insights into the future of electric highways and the role they will play in india's green mobility revolution it's clear that initiatives like nhev are paving the way for sustainable future we at mojo for industry are excited to continue bringing news and developments from such groundbreaking projects till then stay tuned for more updates hello friends if you enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content